As of the date of this recording, I've made this many videos on how to sync your audio and video in post. If you want to see any of those, you can check the description below, but that got me to thinking, I make a lot of content for YouTube and it'd be great if I didn't have to sync my audio to video in post. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I don't sync my audio to video in post and go straight into the camera while using a external microphone like this. Here we have my Sony a7III and a common way to get better audio into a camera like this would be to use an on-camera microphone like the Rode Video Micro. Take a 3.5 millimeter cable like this and place it into the microphone jack of your camera. This setup is great for some situations, but it does require you to be close to the camera and a microphone to achieve the best audio. So I got to thinking, why can't I just remove the onboard microphone from this equation, but keep my 3.5 millimeter cable to connect to other audio gear? Enter in my Zoom H6 handy recorder. For your situation, you could be using any kind of recorder. This could also include a Tascam or any of the other Zoom products. In fact, if you were to look up your manufacturer and type in XLR inputs after it, you may be able to find a proprietary way to connect something to the hot shoe of your camera or a great third party option is something like Beach Tech. But the great thing about using something like the H6 is it can provide phantom power, which if you are using something like a condenser microphone, like a boom or a large diaphragm, that is going to require phantom power and something like the Zoom H6 can provide phantom power and can also accept XLR and instrument inputs. In the past with my Zoom H6, I would normally record straight to an SD card on the device. But recently I thought, huh, I wonder if I could just use the line out and plug that directly into my microphone jack of my camera. So plugging into my H6, it tells me line out connected. Then plugging into my camera on the microphone jack, you can tell that with a cable like this, you don't have much room, but it does work. So a good option is just to switch this out with a longer cable if you have it laying around. For example, this worked perfectly on my tripod when I had my Zoom H6 line out going all the way up to my Sony a7 III mic jack in and everything was neatly compact on my tripod. But for those situations where my camera would be further away from my recorder, I would use a Rode VC1 extension cable. This has a male and female end, and I would connect the male end into my recorder and take the same red cable that came with my Rode Video Micro and connect that into my camera and connect the other end into the female end of the VC1 extension cable. That's how I record the audio during my tutorial videos like this. At the base of my computer, I have my Zoom H6 and I take that line out extension cord all the way up to my camera that's sitting on my windowsill facing me. This is specific to the Zoom H6, which has two outputs, the headphone jack and the line out. The line out has a line level output, which I switched to negative 25 dB, so I'm not clipping the gain on my camera. But for most of you, if you're using a different device, you're probably only gonna have the option to go out of the headphone amp. But I have a very specific question when it comes to this particular setup, and I go where anybody else goes when they want to find answers. Twitter. Hey, sound professionals, Bandrew Scott from Podcast Age, Curtis Judd, and Oliver Hughes. If I take my headphone jack out of my H4N straight into the microphone jack of my Sony a7 III, is there something wrong with that? Oliver replied saying, just check the headphone output levels on the recorder so as not to clip the signal in the camera. Bandrew replied with a video of his own that he's created showcasing you how to connect your XLR microphones to your cameras. He even connects an SM57 directly into the camera so people can actually hear how bad that sounds as opposed to using a field recorder or a mixer in the signal chain before you hit the camera. Great video, I'll link it at the end of this video. And Curtis Judd replied by saying, start with the headphone levels low, ideally record and playback tone at negative 12 dB from the zoom. Meters on the zoom should be at negative 12. Meters on the camera should be at negative 12 dB. Adjust cam input and headphone out to get there and monitor at the camera. I wanted to test out the differences for myself to see if you can really hear the difference between something that's recorded directly into the camera from from the H6 or the audio files taken from the H6's SD card. And before I show you the results of that test, I just want to reiterate that this is my setup and the actual microphone that you're connecting into your interface is going to be completely dependent on you. It could be a boom, large diaphragm condenser, but in my setup, I use the Shure SM7B and that is connected directly into my cloud lifter that raises the levels by 20 dB clean gain before it hits the XLR input of my Zoom H6. With this setup, I turn my gain to four on the Zoom H6 for decent levels. So I'm gonna go to the audio rec level. And because it's coming out of the line out, 
audio is at two, which you could really probably go down to one because the preamp on this camera is not going to be as good as the preamp on my Zoom H6. It's better to have the least amount of volume on the camera. And for those curious, instead of going out of the line out, I will now plug it into the headphone jack out. Check, check. Notice how I'm peaking now because I need to turn down the volume a lot on the headphone out. Check, check check. So with my volume coming out of the headphone out at 20, now I have a similar volume to what it was like when I was going out the line out. Just for comparison, here's my audio going directly into the camera. Now I have applied my normal audio post-processing workflow to this. If you want to learn all about that and how I manipulate my voice after the fact, uh, there's a video about it right here on the screen. And now here's me talking directly into the H6 and I've taken this off the SD card, imported it and synced that in post. Can you recognize a difference? Is the efficiency of directly recording into the camera worth it? I don't know. I'll find that out in post, but you let me know down in the comments which one sounds better and is it worth it going directly into the camera? I hope it is. I hope it sounds just as good. Um, but until next video, my name's Javier Mercedes. I love doing video tech tutorials on this channel, anything filmmaking really. So if you're into that, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and until next video, I hope you're out there staying safe and also living a life of abundance. I'll see you guys next time.